Okay, in this video, what I have on my mind is about when you have to show some, you feel compelled to show some sort of, I think the word is deference, towards somebody you really do not want to. And let me give an example of, uh, of it. Like, say you have a doctor that you really like going to see this doctor, but there's somebody in the office that works there, and the staff, who's just rude as can be, okay? And you kind of have a good feeling of how things work these days that if you are, you know, you have gumption like I do, and you say something to that person, or you, if, even if you complain to the doctor, you know, you, that they will, they will protect the employee instead of you. You know, unfortunately it works that way too much these days, in my opinion. <clears throat> or, you know, that's why they get away with it. Or, you know, it could be like somebody where you work. It could even be your boss. Um, and you need that job. It took you a long while to get that job. That kind of thing. It could be in many, many kind of situations. And it's difficult. Very difficult for you to, to be that way. Okay. But I think that for some, it um, they kind of generalize it to every situation. And the reason, one of the reasons on my mind, because usually my opinion my view what i've seen is that something in the social world will correct itself at some point or it just goes to total pot you know but there is this like corrective thing and that corrective thing is people okay humans what they say what they do and this this is also a concern of mine that people think you know oh they compile they just throw everybody under the category that's that's got bad behavior as a narcissist and uh, we shouldn't say anything you know that they, they go down this road you know of um, you know just throw them under that and therefore they're ne not going to be able to be rehabilitated in any way and we just you know don't do anything about it does, does all that make sense that, that, that starts to worry me but of course there's an extreme extremes where it would be dangerous got all that but what, what my concern with this one is, <clears throat> is when you do run across somebody like that that works wherever it is, and they're just rude, and you feel you have to be nice to this person, or you're like the doctor's office, you know, or you will have to go find a new doctor, and you really like this one doctor. Yeah. But there, there's other examples of when, do you say something? Do people say something when they're in this kind of situation? Now, you know, like I said, I've got gumption. <laughs> I do. I don't tend to keep myself, you know, like people say, don't keep the anger bottle up inside of you. Um, or, you you know, even if it's a, a disagreement or um, what, whatever, you, you know, just that you know you're being done wrong, that kind of thing. Okay, let me give an example of that. Um, I think it was not this weekend, but the weekend past. Um, I, I believe it was. I went with Adam. He was returning a shirt, two shirts that were the wrong size um, at a store, you know, a clothing store. And we walked in and he went up to the side, you know, where the cashiers are because we didn't see anything else. And he went up there and he told him that he wanted to exchange these, you know, right when we walked in the door. That way he didn't have, have them with him and they want to charge him for them again. So he and the woman told him, you know, to go get in line, um, you know, at the cashiers and we'll take care of it. <clears throat> so he did that and I walked around the store, you know, while he was waiting in line. And because uh, it was a little bit of a line there. So, uh, you know, it was, it was taking a while. So I finally went back up there and uh, was standing next to him when he was finally at a cashier's. And it was a different guy that wasn't one that was there before. And he looked like a manager, okay. The other one were women. So, <clears throat> the, the way his badge was seemed like he was some kind of a manager or something. And Adam walked up to the cashier and told the guy, and I was standing next to him, and the, uh, the guy says, well, the next time you come in, what I'm going to need you to do, and I said, hold on. You know, I knew where this guy was going. And, I, and he, he started to continue, so I was right. And I said, no. We came in and this is what we did. And, you know, I explained to him, and I said, you, "What you need to be telling, doing, is telling your employee that, and not us." 
and Adam just kind of stood there, you know, because he, he was like, you know, okay, you know, and I'm always like, Adam says I'm the bad cop, <clears throat> but yeah, the guy, he shook his, you know, head kind of thing, like he, you know, it snapped in his mind, yeah, he needed to be telling his employees that, not us. The whole thing about it was the guy didn't even pause to ask us, you know, anything. He just immediately went into telling us, bossing us around. <laughs> you know? This is this is common here. I've I've done videos about how you know people too many here. Not it's, it's it's a generalization, but too many here feel like the customer is wrong. <laughs> immediately they they go, they go to this. The customer is wrong. We know what everything it is about. You know, along that line and. You know, it's, it's, it's as though they want us to show them this kind of deference, I think is the word. You know, as if they're the, some authority and they're a cashier. I'm not putting down cashiers, but we are the customer. You know, when did it flip-flop so much years ago? Yeah, it flip-flops. So, this is something that the behavior of the humans has to change. To where they will say, no, this is not how it works. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's something that's a way that society starts taking care of itself. And they just don't, you know, it's not my argument, it's not my problem, it's not my this, not my that. It's all about me. That's when it gets to be an all about me. Hey, eh, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. It's too much of an indifference to what's going on. And for some, it's just taking too much of what people are throwing at, at you. But like I said, you know, the, the thing about these days is so many of us know that it can be so dangerous in, in so many different kinds of situations that people are afraid. So this is, this is what really worries me, is that it's, it's gotten too far to an extreme. You know, too far. And it's you know what's going to happen is it going to turn around and come back you know where the society starts taking care of itself or is it going to, to totally just be destroyed <laughs>